Did you know it takes around 20 hours to fly from Chicago to New Delhi? Four hour bus ride to the airport, this is the worst part of the journey. So I'm in the Chicago airport right now because I'm traveling back to India over the winter break. Uh, I have a layover at Amsterdam which divides this trip nicely into two 8 hour flights instead of a super long 16 hour one which is um, horrible. My legs are dead usually after those flights but this time I'll have some time to stretch out in between. Anyway, other than that, you know the paper I've been rambling about this entire semester. First research paper that I want to write this paper, rewriting the paper, comments for my paper. I finally submitted it. Submitted it? That sounds weird. It's too many did it, did it English as a language has failed us. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So I finally submitted it and yeah, it's great news. So if you don't know, I am a mechanical engineering PhD student at UIUC and this semester I had been working on my first research paper ever. I finally managed to finish it before the end of the semester and that's great for me. I'm super happy about it. And when I get back, the start of the next semester, I'm gonna start my new project. So. Hopefully that goes well. I have no idea uh, how to go about that. I'm just at the airport right now. My flight is at 5. Right now it's 2.30. I had too much time on my hands. I also had a camera in my hands. So what else am I gonna do? Just start talking to the camera, of course. So I just realized that I have a layover at Amsterdam and there's a very big possibility that I'm gonna be hungry when I get off the plane. But Amsterdam is a different country and they have different money currency that they use there and I don't have that. I don't have any euros on me. But the problem is I don't even have any American dollars on me either. So if I had American dollars on me, I could exchange those for euros at the airport. I'm gonna try and find if there's an ATM around. Who, who carries cash these days? You just take your phone and bloop. That's, that's what everybody does. So another thing I want to talk about, you know, because this is my diary and you guys chose to be here. So you have to listen to whatever the fuck I talk about. Anyway, another thing I want to talk about is, so I've been reading the Harry Potter books these days. I know I'm too old. I know it sounds kind of embarrassing. Let's just move past that, okay? I just wanted something to read before going to bed and I decided to go with the easy thing. Anyway, moving on. I've been reading the Harry Potter books these days. I'm on book number five right now. And wait, if you don't know, there's, this is a spoiler alert. So there's gonna be a spoiler in this. Uh, so anyway, in book five, in the Order of the Phoenix, Ron actually becomes prefect of the Gryffindor house and Harry doesn't. So Harry is all like jealous about, oh, how could Ron become the prefect? And I'm not the prefect, you know? I did all of these big, great things. I fought Voldemort and what the fuck. And, I was kind of relating to it. I was kind of relating to Harry because this has actually happened with me in my life. When I was in fifth grade in elementary school, I was in the highest grade of the junior wing of my school. So they chose prefects in the fifth grade. And not to brag, not to toot my own horn, but you know, I think I was a good student and there was a very high chance that I was gonna get picked to become the prefect or like even head boy even, you know. Again, not to brag. Some weird teacher, I don't know, she was probably jealous or something of a fifth grade student, of course, because that's how these things work. She made up a bullshit excuse. I, I was also in the choir group. Yeah, I, I was a nerd. I was also in the choir group, so she just made up some bullshit excuse. She said that, oh, since you're in the choir group, we don't want to give you two responsibilities, so we're not going to make you the prefect. I said, I'm willing to quit the choir group. And she was like, no, no, don't, don't do that. You know, we're just not going to make you prefect. So yeah, I hated that. And I definitely related to Harry when he was not made the prefect because I felt horrible about it too. So yeah, thanks for coming to my ramble about me not being made prefect in the fifth grade, which was, I don't even know at this point how many years ago, like 14, 14 years ago maybe. What do you mean I hold grudges? You hold grudges. Last year when I was coming to the US back from India, the airline actually broke my suitcase so there were a bunch of cracks all over it. Not to brag but I am a mechanical engineer so I use duct tape to fix it. 
Also, I'm drinking coffee right now when I know that I should be asleep on the flight. Why am I doing it? I don't know. Nobody knows. This just adds to a very long list of bad decisions that I've made in my life. After a good two hours of me rambling on the airport, the flight to Amsterdam finally takes off. This was the dinner, after which I decided to spy on the person in front of me because somehow, and I don't know why, whatever the person in front of you is watching is just always so much more interesting than what's on your own screen. And here's me making sure that the earth is still indeed round. made it to the Amsterdam airport but it's only around 7.15 in the morning also it's weird that it's completely dark outside I don't know when the sun rises here but my flight's around at 12 so I've got about 5 hours to kill I did not sleep even a wink on the flight I spent the entire 5-6 hours reading the Harry Potter book I am starting to feel exhaustion so I think I'm gonna pass out on the next flight. Also the paper I was talking about before that we submitted, we also uploaded it to archive and it just got posted to archive so <coughs> that's good. I think I'm gonna send out the link to my advisor right now because we want to add it to the group website. Another not so fun thing that's been happening and is also gonna happen is that the day before I started to travel I hit legs in the gym so my legs are already sore from that and on top of that I also have two eight hour flights where I have to sit in economy. So my legs will also go numb from that, plus the soreness from the gym. So seems like at this point I'm just gonna have to learn to walk again basically. Also to add to my long list of bad decisions, I brought a white jacket with me. Now I'm just gonna be worried about the entire trip about the jacket getting dirty. It's already happened actually. In the previous flight, I already spilled tea on the jacket and on myself and on my pants. So that's going great. Why did I bring the white jacket? I don't know. I also have a black jacket that I could have brought on the trip. Why didn't I do that? I don't know. These are all very good questions which I don't have the answer to. So, if you can't already tell by the exhaustion of my face, I have finally reached Delhi. I have been traveling for a really long time and in fact time has lost all meaning to me but still this is not the end of my journey I still have to take a train back to my hometown so I'm waiting for that right now but yeah we finally made it after like 20 or so hours of traveling other than that on this holiday I'm not completely free my advisor asked me to help with an article that he himself is writing so he asked me to help with the figures a little bit so I'm gonna do that over the break. It's not really a lot of work and it's, it's just like asking for permissions that the figures he's using from, from the previous papers. It'll be done pretty quickly. After this, I'm just gonna take the train back to my hometown and that will be the end of the video. Bye.